That would stink if you knew when you were going to die, if you knew the date of your death. Because that means each year, you not only have a birthday, you'd have a death day. <laughs> Hi, I'm Veronica with WatchMojo.com, and today we're chatting with comedian Al LaBelle, who is right here sitting to her left. A death day. You walk home, open up the door, they're all your friends. Surprise. <laughs> you studied law, you passed the bar exam, and then you went on to practice comedy. Why the change? I don't know. It seems like you're using your practice of law in comedy because you're taking facts that we think would lead to common sense and then you switch it to something that even makes more sense. I don't know, I think it just comes with your brain. It just came with my brain. You know, sort of like uh, you buy something and it, you know, it's an application, like a computer has an application and you use the application. I guess the application's in my head. I am a hypochondriac. That's why I can't stand the question, how are you? How am I? I don't know how I am. I have to hope that right this very second, my kidneys are purifying. I have to hope that my thyroid is regulating, <laughs> that my pancreas is pancreating. <laughs> I have to hope that my heart is beating. You may say, obviously my heart is beating because I'm alive. Yeah, but you don't die the second your heart stops beating. <laughs> it takes a second or two. My heart, could, my, my heart could have stopped beating right now. Okay, it didn't. I think probably part of it is OCD. You know, I definitely, I think I have a definite OCD. I've been told that extreme OCD. You don't even pass out the second your heart stops beating. You don't pass out the second your heart stops beating. Your heart beats, it beats, it beats. But what's it doing in between? Beat, non-beat, beat, non-beat, beat, non-beat, beat, non-beat, beat, non-beat. Non the sticking with a thought obsessively, it probably does lead me to, you know, those kind of jokes, because I don't let things go easily. I've always, you know, and when I was a child, it was called stubbornness. So you don't pass out the second your heart stops beating. If people passed out the second their heart stopped beating, everybody would be walking around like, <laughs> Now you've discussed everything in your sets. What are you talking about now? The same stuff because I'm lazy and uncreative. That's not true. <laughs> I need to get a girlfriend, but I don't have the strength to have a girlfriend. I mean, you have to make sure that she's happy, that she's satisfied. She's not a girlfriend, she's a customer. <laughs> I don't know, I, I'm also uh, very fearful and neurotic. I talk about that, but I'm also so fearful and neurotic. Part of me doesn't want to say what I'm talking about because I feel I'm giving it away and then people come to the show and they've already heard it. And so it's like the joke is over. Having a girlfriend is like running a business. It really is like owning a store. And that's why I can never keep a girlfriend. Because the second I get one, I want to open a chain. What's the best piece of advice that a comedian has passed on to you? He didn't share it with me, but I heard him say it on a CD. And I, I've met him. He's a very nice guy. Jerry Seinfeld, obviously, a very funny guy. And, but he said on a CD, like he was at some kind of like, uh, comedy convention and all these comedians were talking about like what agent can I get what manager I can get all these things and, and Jerry made a, I thought a great point he said it's not about all that it's just doing the work you know the work not of finding an agent and a manager really but not of that but he was making the point of doing the work of being creative and cr making a great act is there anything you'd like to leave us with there's nothing in fact I'd like to take back a few things because I don't really have much of a sense of self you know I can only respond to questions I'm more like a ventriloquist dummy I'm the dummy and I'm only alive when someone's talking to me. Well, thank you, Al. It was great having you. How great exactly was it? Was it awesome? Well, that's good. <laughs>